Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to create this abstract circle in Illustrator. But before we do that, if you want to get pro in logo design and branding, I prepared some special domestic courses for you with the best logo designers out there, which I found really helpful. These courses are going to give you a better perspective on how experts work in logo design and branding, so click the link in the description to check it out. Alright, so you might think that this is done with the blend tool, but unfortunately you can't nail perfectly with the blend tool how to create the circle. I'm gonna show you why and then I'm gonna show you, you know, how to do it in the correct way. Uh, as you can see already, you need to eyeball this thing, you know, to eyeball it to see appro approximately if it's gonna be the same or not, you know, the circles and the distance in between here. So I'm gonna create a, you know, rectangle only to measure it, you know. So I'm gonna drag it until they intersect and I'm gonna pull this out. So as you can see, created, you know, you still need to make these circles bigger. So I'm gonna go back to the options, double click to the blend tool and eventually decrease the number to 12, you know, to 11. So I think 11 is pretty good, but it's still not. So as you can see, there's still a difference going on, a distance, bigger distance. So I'm gonna go back, you know, eyeball it again. And so as you can see, it's not working. With 10 is too too little, with 11 is too much, so it's just not getting the right proportion. So if I expand this, I select it with the direct selection tool, click X, Control V, right click transform, reflect, and I'm gonna put it here. And see, it's not matching, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. So what we're gonna do is create a little circle, like this. I'm gonna put here, press and hold Alt, drag it, press also Shift until they intersect here. Then press Ctrl D until we're gonna make a lot of copies of these circles. Okay, so I'm gonna select this circle, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F, or you can go to Edit and Paste in front. This way is going to paste on front a new circle, basically. And now, press and hold Shift, and scale it up until they intersect in the second circle. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl F again. Press and hold Shift, scale it up until they intersect and you do it until you make the whole um, circle. I'm gonna speed this up. All right, I'm gonna select all of these and I'm also gonna select this little circle. Right click, group. I'm gonna select them all. Press and hold shift and select this. So it basically got deselected and the rest of the circles got selected. I'm gonna press delete so they are deleted. So we're gonna try it out this way to see how it's gonna work out. Select the direct selection tool from here and select all these anchor points from the lower part of the circle. Press Ctrl X, Ctrl V and just place it back where it, where it was before. Right click, transform, reflect and select vertical, click OK. And here you can see that they just matched perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you now how you can do it with the blend tool, because after this you can, of course, make it perfectly with the blend tool also. I'm gonna select them all, right click group, I'm gonna choose a light gray color, and I'm gonna lock this and create a new layer. Okay, select the circle, put it here where they intersect, Control C, Control F, scale it up until you know here where they intersect again. Select both, go to Object, Blend, Make, double click on the Blend tool, specified steps, increase the numbers, and there you go, it's 16 for this circle size, where every circle size is a different number, you know, and until you get it right, you basically need to make it like manually. And if you got better methods how to achieve this, just leave a comment down in the comment section below. And yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos and have a good one. Bye bye.